In this part of my series on inspecting the M119 engine, I want to talk about the ignition system. This is really dear to my heart, if I could say that, because I see so many problems with these older gasoline Mercedes engines due to really bad distributor caps and rotors. Um, fortunately, in this car, the maintenance records show that 5,000 miles ago, that the ignition wires, the caps, and the rotors were replaced. So I probably won't be able to get to show you a really bad distributor cap, but I do have one off a six cylinder engine I'm gonna show you a little bit later to kind of give you an idea what you need to be looking for when you pull the distributor cap. So first thing is you wanna you know, pull the covers off, and, and for this engine, there are two distributor caps, one on each cylinder head. So you have twice of uh, things to inspect here. And if you have no maintenance history on the engine, you do not know whether or not the caps have been replaced and you want to remove them. You want to remove them and inspect them internally as well as inspecting the rotor. But I did run across a couple things when I pull these covers off. One I've already covered in another video. And this is when I, I, I look down here on the left, uh, a distributor cap and I noticed that one of the plug wires was sticking out a little bit further and it wasn't even plugged in all the way and look at the corrosion and the interesting thing was we cleaned that corrosion up this engine had been having a little bit of a ticking sound you could just faintly hear it and sure enough we cleaned the corrosion got that plugged back in properly and that little ticking noise went away it was actually a little bit of a, a spark breakdown noise when the engine was idling so there's a couple things I want to show you here. We, I ran into that problem and I also ran into a little issue with the coil wire. And I, let me show you that now. This was the wire that was loose. You could see how right away from a visual inspection you're looking to make sure they're all equally uh, pushed into the cap. And this one was sticking out and then when we removed it, you know, we had to clean it up because it was heavily corroded. But also, this coil wire was hanging out the bottom of the cap cover and when I looked at it very closely, look at that. Look at the wear coming from the serpentine belt. So this coil wire is going to need to be replaced. And by the way, when you're routing uh, new wires, you need to make sure they're routed properly and they're not hanging out and they're not rubbing in anything. Uh, it looks like some of these ignition wires were not routed properly so I'm going to have to play around with that. But as far as the ignition wires and the caps, we look okay. I'm gonna probably change both coil wires because they're both hard and they look like they're the originals. But when I was poking around inside these distributor covers, I saw something else that makes me very concerned. Before I show you what really concerns me uh, behind that distributor cap cover, I need to show you an example of a bad distributor cap. Now removing the caps and the rotors on the M119 engine is quite easy. Once, once you get the covers off, you have quite a bit of room in there to work. Uh, you know, not so with some of the 10, M103 and 104 engines. I want to show you this cap that I removed from an, uh, recently from an M104 engine. You know, when these things get corroded, and burned, you can have all kinds of problems. You could have engines that misfire, engines that quit. I mean, just literally going down the road, the engine will quit. You could have engines that won't start. And a lot of times people are fooled. They think it's some sort of a fuel issue, but it's not. So you need to pay attention to these distributor caps and rotors. They operate under a very high voltage. And when they start to break down, they'll build up corrosion very quickly. And in a moisture environment, spark will actually break down and you may have an engine that won't even start. So look at this one real close. You can see the the heavy burning on this center pin here and then on these side pins look at the amount of corrosion and then on the rotor itself you have a lot of corrosion here on on this end and then down in the center point where the spark is transferred from the cap it's burnt and heavily corroded as well. So when you, when you get your engine, you pull these out, you pay real close attention to what these look like. And if they're burned and corroded, don't try to clean them up and sand them. You're probably just kind of wasting your time. You need to replace them. Now, let's go back 
to what I feel is really concerning me about this engine and that will be actually part four in these series after I just give you a sneak preview. When I pull this cover off, you know, I'm looking around in here and right away I notice this wire right here and I go, uh oh, look at that. Look at the insulation is breaking off. This uh, camshaft uh, position sensor plug. This is a major concern. Um, many of you have you've heard of these wire harness problems on these 90s era uh, Mercedes Benz. What we're going to have to do in the next video in this series is do a complete inspection of the whole wiring harness in this engine compartment.